When I was a first year teacher, everyone, most especially my mentor teacher, told me to spend the first two to three weeks establishing expectations, building classroom routines. I was quite foolish and decided not to listen to them. Ugh, 22 year old me, why? Needless to say, I would spend every other year of my teaching career really emphasizing these back to school essentials. I think part of the reason that I was so hesitant to take that time was that as a student, I hated those first few weeks of school when I was bored out of my mind. Another part of the reason is that literally no teachers are given enough training in classroom management, but that's a topic for another video. As I continued my career and I completed my doctoral studies, I really honed in on the balance between these two extremes, jumping straight into the curriculum and boring everyone to tears. And I think that happy medium is really found in indirect teaching. What is indirect teaching? Basically means rather than teaching students what you want them to learn, you help them discover it on their own. Yeah. We have learned that while indirect teaching can be powerful, it is limited. Students in general need some kind of direct instruction, and this goes for back-to-school classroom management as well. Do not forget to engage in that direct laying out of expectations. I'm looking at you, 22-year-old me. However, what we know about group dynamics really shows us why starting with indirect instruction to establish classroom rules is really powerful. Essentially, as a teacher, you're the leader of your organization, your classroom. You're trying to get your followers, students, to adhere to your mission and vision for the rest of the school year. But people, especially adolescent people, can be resistant to follow rules if they think they're pointless, stupid, or a waste of time. I may tell you that directly. When you allow students to discover why rules are important and allow them to co-develop the rules, you get that buy-in. And they're so much more likely to follow the rules the rest of the school year. The classic, easiest way for students to engage in this kind of indirect learning is to have them brainstorm simply what they think the rules for the school year should be. This can be a quick, independent writing activity, even as they're coming in and putting their stuff away on the first day of school. I am a personal fan of having students write on small scraps of paper or sticky notes, having them try to fill up their entire desk in a certain time frame, usually like three to five minutes. They should write one idea per sticky note, and then they should come together as table groups and find categories and themes within these roles that they've developed together. Over time, and especially with my focus on leadership and group dynamics, I've developed two hands-on labs that you can do on day one with your students and answer two fundamental questions. Why should I listen to my teacher? And why do we need school rules? Product links in the comments and description. I have used these lessons with third grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, and seventh grade students, and I have had great success with all of these groups. Every time I do these experiments, I see the change in students' faces. They're like, huh, that is why we have school rules. Basically what it is, is it allows students to experience the best case ideal scenario for your classroom and learning and then you slowly and methodically add in chaos so that students quickly realize why the rules are so important. It also allows you to show your students that you can regain control when the classroom gets out of hand. Because let's face it, even the best veteran teacher can have a class that gets a little wild every once in a while. I then, after doing both of these labs, jump into the sticky note activity that I mentioned earlier. When we get into that sticky note activity, students have a lot more ideas about what they value in their ideal classroom environment and what they could live without. When I finally do get to that standards-based rigorous instruction, my kids trust me that I know what I'm talking about and that this is a safe place for learning. Side note, I feel that this also allows students to go home on day one and say, wow, I have this amazing teacher. We did something super fun while also not deviating from establishing classroom management and routines. You get not only student buy-in, but parent buy-in. So hope that helps you kind of learn why we need to use indirect instruction when we do back to school activities, because we need to get that buy-in. We need to establish ourselves as the leader of our organization classroom, and we need to allow students to co-develop the norms that are going to help us build a successful school year.